Indian journalist trashes Hindu scripture and sparks outrage. Delhi-based journalist Shumita Siha, a uh, video criticizing Hindu festival Tej, created controversy on social media recently, with many calling for her arrest. Sinha has been seen is seen holding a Hindu scripture. Um, the <laughs> oh boy, Hartalika uh, Tej Katha, and wow, asking, that was that was impressive. I didn't know how you did that, but go on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, muscle manuals, uh, <laughs> and is asking and is seen asking viewers if she should use this book as toilet paper or tissue paper since it is of quote no use to her. Quote: I have. She's two. my kind of activist. I love her. <laughs> I love her. Okay, go on. I paid fifties. I paid fifteen rupees for this useless book, and now it's of no use to me. Now I am wondering if I should use this book as tissue paper or toilet paper. What do you <laughs> think? What do you think she has said and she has seen saying in the video? The book has Lord Shiva and the goddess poverty on its cover. Siha, uh, Sinha claimed she is now receiving death and rape threats. A hashtag demanding her arrest has been trending on Twitter recently. What happened to all the Hindus that keep saying, well, we're not as bad as Muslims. We're not as bad as Muslims. They have a hashtag going on for arresting somebody that said, because mere words, mere words, right? She because didn't, she didn't sure. even do anything to the book in the video. Right. She's, She's simply talking about what if I did do it. She didn't even did. she didn't even do you where you tweeted that you did do something right. to a certain holy book, but you're not showing it. Right. That received a lot of criticism. And uh she's just saying, What if I did? And people are demanding her arrest. Um where is yeah. Shobham where we need him, right? I know he's the, the one who wanted to cover this news too. <laughs> All right. Hold on, let, let me show you give you guys the video. Well, we, you're not going to be able. Hindi. Yeah, I'm just going to show it. I know it's not going. You're not. You guys. इस रद्दी किताब के लिए मैंने पंद्रह रुपए खर्च किए. अब ये किताब मेरे किसी काम की नहीं है. तो मैं सोच रही हूँ कि इसे मैं टिश्यू पेपर की तरह. Ah, oh, she's. I love her. I love her. <laughs> I have no idea what she's saying, but I love her. Yeah, but we got respect for it. Um, yeah. So part of the reason why Triple wanted to highlight this news and. Why I wanted to highlight this news is because, um, obviously, well, maybe not obviously, if you are involved in the ex-Muslim community or follow the ex-Muslim community, August, the month of August 2020 has been characterized by some highly controversial um, conversations about whether or not it is worthwhile to desecrate the Quran. Um, Armin responded this a uh, couple weeks ago by um, eating the Quran and the Bible on camera to demonstrate um, one that it's harmless and two that people have less of a reaction to the Bible. Um, and so, well, you can respond to that just a sec. Um, and so Shuppel wanted to highlight that um, people have as intense of a reaction to Hindu scripture as well, because More? that was a, Yes, that was a conversation we had. I and, well, they react so heavily. I am declaring here officially the Hindus, n not all, hashtag not all, hashtag, be, not all. hashtag not all, to be the greatest snowflakes online, way above Muslims. The, the official champions of snowflakery are the Hindus. Every time, so just remember, guys, every time the Hindus come and say, like, we're not bad. Well, at least we're not as bad as Muslims, okay? Okay, yeah, in the beheading department, you're not as bad, bad as Muslims, okay? But in the tri being triggered part, in the being the snowflakes, you guys have outdone the Muslims by a wide margin, wide margin, because we have managed to, uh, like, the anti-Islam advocates like us, we have managed to desensitize Muslims a little bit. Again, they're still like, they still like lose their mind every time we talk about um, desecrating the Quran in, in different ways, right? They still go out, like, they say like lose their minds. But if you look at the recent like eating the Quran and when like declaring that we're going to pee on the Quran and stuff like that, 
the reaction to that was like a bunch of Muslims getting like offended, but not in nearly as close as what this lady got. There is a there's a major hashtag, like the hashtag is going viral. There's an outcry of Hindus out there demanding her arrest. Like the reaction to this was astronomically higher. Actually, the Sweden people might be challenging that right now. <laughs> so I guess I guess uh, I to guess be the, covered later this week. Yes, I guess the Muslims are trying to catch up, like try to steal back that number one place back from the Hindus. It's like a tight race actually now. Like the Hindus seem to have the lead, and now the Muslims are catching back on. So we, I don't know. Yeah, the Sweden stuff now is is uh, challenging my claim here. So hmm, I have to rethink this claim. But again, the fact that this is even debatable shows how bad, like how far behind Hindus are when it comes to being offended. Shopam is in the live chat. I don't know if he wants to tell us anything about, does he have any? I just asked him to share his opinion. Um, yeah, so she posted a full like uh, two minute and 15 second video to Instagram, but um, it was only about... 17 seconds of the video where she's holding it up and talking about using it. What if, what if, <laughs> um, that would like 17 seconds of that video is what went viral and what sparked this outrage. Right. Um, and, um, she is talking about, um, I had spoken about the Katha that is read while fasting on Tish, which is Tish is festival. Um, there are many misogynistic rules in this book. Like if you drink water during the fast, one will turn into a pig or a widow, etc. Um, I only read, um, a page from the book that had all of these things. So she's, this is also a form of her speaking out against the misogyny that's in this scripture. Mm. Um, uh, da, 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 da. and part of the festival is uh, the festival is celebrated mostly in North India by married women who have to fast to ensure their husbands live long lives while unmarried women pray for good husbands um, yeah so she's holding it up and she's saying well this is no use this is of no use to me right. um, and by the way Avshin is saying many Hindus I spoke to expect atheists uh, say that atheists must accept them proclaiming uh, Hinduism is an atheist religion. That's absolute horse crap. It is horse. Uh, it is yeah. horse crap. Like it, it, no, it's not. There's one god that once doubted something, and we're like, oh look, we're atheist friendly. It's like they want a medal for not having uh, anything in their religion that says that atheists need to be beheaded, and they think that makes them atheist. It's kind of like if somebody comes and says like, hey, I believe in leprechauns. And you like you look at them and you're like, well, that's stupid. I like, hey, my leprechaun belief doesn't require me beheading you. Hey, give me. A, I'm so tolerant. I'm I'm so tolerant. There's nothing in my leprechaun belief that requires me beheading you. Like, okay, that's still uh, batshit crazy though. Like, I'm not gonna call. You, I'm not gonna stop calling out how stupid your religion is just because there's no mentioning of beheading of people that don't believe in leprechauns, right? Your religion is. I mean, you people are still extremely intolerant. Uh, you want people arrested. Uh, you go crazy every time somebody says something remotely negative, even a little bit negative about your ideology. And p if people knew more about your religion and the Hinduism, they would be calling it out way more than they're doing right now. But you guys, you guys are ex like, again, I think we need to attack Hinduism a, a lot more because, because the, you remember like Muslims used to like, I mean, I would say used to, but now apparently they're doing it in Sweden again. But they all they every time you draw Muhammad or like did like a cartoon or something, things just got burned. Like that was the de facto thing to go to. But now we have like a draw Muhammad day, and um, it seems like they're kind of okay with that. I think this. Oh, I think they're not desensitized to burning the Quran, right? So I think we need to just like we desensitize them to drawing Muhammad, we now need to desensitize the Muslims to like doing things to the Quran. So that we don't get this many reactions to them. But I think nobody has, I think Hindus are so confused because for so long nobody came after the religion. Everybody was like, oh, Hinduism is just a way of life, it's a philosophy, it's not a religion, it's tolerant. And now people are looking into Hinduism and like, holy crap, there's a lot of there's a lot of misogyny and a lot of intolerance and a lot of just bad shit, crazy stuff here. 
and they're attacking it and hindus are like what is this why are people doing this to us right so they're not like they're not used to it so that's why they're not as desensitized to it as a lot of people from other religions right so i think we need to we need to go after hinduism a little more so that they get used to this uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah but go on um so shubham had a comment um well it's at 707 for me um, let me find it. Armin asked earlier if Hindus care about their scripture much. Well, this is not an important scripture at all. I had never heard the name of this book before. Wow. So it's a minor scripture and people are losing their, they're, they're flipping their gourd. They've lost, they've lost it. Um, so, so wow. I so, found okay. that so they're pissed about something that is not even a significant part of Hinduism. Imagine if we went for something that was more of the core. I remember seeing somewhere that people said that one of the gods in Hinduism seems to offend them the most if you go after it. It was a female god. Like oh, they really? seem to, yeah, there's a female god that the Hindus want to the simp, they simp for their female gods more than their male gods, right? People are really protective over Ram. They really lose it over Ram as well. Right, okay, which one? We need to go after the god. We need to come, guys. We need to make memes about the god that the Hindus are the most sensitive about. Okay, and I don't know what kind of memes to make. Like, well, some of I remember we came under fire for a meme that took the template of um, uh, it's a photo from a, a porn of a tiny little white girl so surrounded by like seven huge black guys, and they replaced the the girl with the female god with like you know eight arms right and so they're juxtaposing this god with pornography and they lost it wait where did we post that we posted that on Asus republic yeah Ooh, um that's, that's how we flushed out a lot of hindu but actually <laughs> <laughs> um that's yeah great. So we know Guys, that that's more. one way to get them Guys, can you go uh, to our Discord server? I need to make on our Discord server, I need to make like a meme suggestion. Oh, yeah, here, let me actually show you guys. We have a Discord server. I'm going to make a new channel on our Discord server for people to send us memes, okay? So, this link to our Discord server is in the description, okay? So, maybe if you have any, here, create a channel. We have a new channel now. A channel on a Discord server comes calls memes, right? So if you if you have any suggestions for like Hindu related memes, please post them. Go to our Discord server and suggest it to. I will post them on our and on our Facebook page. And our, guys, our Facebook page is like our biggest assets, right? Like we have yeah. two million four hundred thousand followers on Facebook, right? So uh, the memes that you if, if I pick any of your memes to post on Atheist Republic, it, it will get attention, right? So Good. All right. Um, I found a tweet from a BJP member. I requested Delhi police to arrest, yeah, hashtag arrest uh, Shushni Sinha a ASAP and take strong action against Bolta Hindustan, which I think is a, um, a news agency that she's involved with. She, she's a freelance journalist for insulting Hindu religious book and promoting hate and spreading lies. Right. It's like, oh my is God. there any way that we could like what is she, she's like what's her situation right now is there any way we can help her um i know soraya has reached out to me about where i can contact her um most mm. of the videos i've watched of her i follow her on instagram um they're all in can Indian. we have her on can we have her on atheist republic yeah i just need I, I believe she speaks english because her captions are in english but her videos are speaking hindi oh my um, god that would be so good Let's it'd be so on. good Yes. It'd be so good. So that's something I'm going to work on. Right. Mm, okay, um, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you to Shopam and Soraya for suggesting this news to me. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm active on TikTok. I have it. I have my TikTok link in the description. I'm going to become more active on TikTok soon. Now, you so need to get that spyware off your phone, bro. There's, they're all the apps are bad. Uh, Farah is saying Shiva, Ram, Krishna... Han, um, Hanu, Hanuman is the monkey one, right? Yep. There are so many gods. Yes. Yeah, there are so many gods, but they are, they simp, for, again, Hindus simp for their female gods more than their male gods. That's my understanding. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, let me Only know. Only the purity culture thing. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the other culture applies to their gods as well. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do next news. Okay. Ooh. So, um, the uh, oh, to answer your question, I think the female god with the many arms is Durga. Is um, that is that the one that they will offend them the most? Let's go with that one. Um. Show up, let me let us yeah, know. Ex, yeah, ex Hindus or people who know about Hindus in the chat, please let us know. Um, Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not... Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 